All right, Monica Lindstrom, from your perspective, what was the headline today? Well, this whole case is so disgusting to me. And I would look at that defense attorney and that defendant, and I would say, you might forget your leftovers, but you do not, do not forget your child. And I think it was disgusting that the defense attorney even brought that up. That would be my headline, that you don't even have a prayer at this point. Yeah, from my from my perspective, Philip, and a I think mother. I mean, you should never give a mother like that a child. But the fact that she jumps right to that conclusion, which makes me think she already has a guilty mind. She already knows what the heck is going on. And then when you see her in that courtroom, I'm sorry, I'm frowning, but this is so upsetting. She's chomping her gum like it is no big deal that they are talking about the death of her child. No emotion whatsoever. She's not mad. She says she's supporting her husband, and that's why she's there. My take is is that the prosecutor is going to do everything they can to pull every piece of evidence to nail her to the wall along with her husband, and I hope they do it. Go to uh, Monica Lindstrom. Monica, did you see anything today that that tells you, hey, there, there's a chance that this may very well have been a very tragic accident? You know, Vinny, I was listening very close for it, and I only heard two things. One was the witness said that he was hysterical when he took his son out of the car and he was dead. That made me think, well, then maybe it's an accident, right? Are you kidding me? Look at him now. No emotion whatsoever. He's cold. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable how cold he is. Number two, the fact that the defense attorney brought out the situation that he brought his friends close to that car. Well, maybe he did because he didn't realize his son was dead in there or it was to support his story. Those were the only two little things that gave me pause, but they're easy to wipe away. So other than that, I heard nothing, Vinny, to convince me that this truly was an accident. That